All right, I'm here with Anthony and Christian. I'm going to show you a very, very common Uchimata mistake that happens across the board. I see this all the time at all levels. Uh, let's first just see what a regular Uchimata looks like. First of all, you have to have a good position, and then you have sort of like the Hanegoshi lift inside Uchimata. Uh, let's see that. And he's going to be doing the technique because I broke my foot. <laughs> right? He has a lifting style Uchimata, classic regular Uchimata. And then usually, if that fails and the hip slides to the side, you go to the sort of the second situation where you go to the ken, ken and then stuffing the head is very important. You go through in a circle, and then you spiral the person down, right? You have to make sure the other person's head is lower than yours for the ken, ken. okay? So here's what happens uh, very common. When he goes uchimata, he's ken, ken and then he feels, oh no, I can't get it, and then Anthony drops to his knee, and then he gets taken back. Uh, it's called sort of like the stretching of the uchimata. Uh, it's a very legitimate counter, and that's one of the main things that can happen when you're going for finishing Uchimata. So what Anthony wants to do to resist this from happening, obviously is staying on his feet is important, but really focus on stuffing that head and ratcheting it down so that this head cannot go up, okay? As long as he brings that head down, he's not going to be able to go off balance and go through his knee. All right? Thank you.